Okay, let me explain the title a little bit here. So this is something I read on a food blog somewhere that this is really an incredible match made in heaven and it will just take your ribs to another level. And I thought, hmm, I never thought about that flavor on my ribs. Um, the other thing is it's a lazy man video, meaning it's dirt simple, okay? So come on in close and I'll talk to you about the details of this. All right, guys, so the food blog said on your ribs, here's my St. Louis style pork spare ribs. I never buy baby backs. Spare ribs are always more meat. So these are already cut. You, you see me cut spare ribs where I just do one cut, remove the cartilage and they're spare ribs. If you just got spare ribs, go with those, okay? And you make one cut right along the top of the ribs and then you got St. Louis style. So don't pay the extra money for St. Louis style. These were on sale, so I grabbed them. But I normally buy the big spare ribs, one slice, boom. You got St. Louis. Okay, so the flavor we're gonna be using with our ribs, uh, I don't know this brand, but it's a, the Asian sweet chili sauce. This is very good. This isn't spicy, this isn't hot, okay? It's got some great ingredients in it, you can see. And what you're gonna do is smoke these and then right before you wrap them, we're gonna place the sauce on so that can pe start penetrating the meat during the last of this cook. I love ribs. Let me move the ribs really quick. Okay. Tammy, my wife, does not like ribs. So I had to get these boneless. She hates gnawing on a bone. She can't stand it ripping meat off a bone. She doesn't like it. She'll do it on chicken, but ribs, sorry. She don't like ribs. And for 20 years, I've offered her, uh, well, I'll get ribs in a restaurant. Oh my gosh, you gotta try these. She's like, how many times I gotta tell you I don't eat ribs? So we got these beautiful boneless uh, pork chops. The, the pork loin chops, okay? So we're gonna be using these for Tammy. So these will be on the smoker too. I'm gonna get these out and we're gonna sauce them up. Uh, when I go to wrap the ribs, um, we'll have to do this. I don't know when to sauce these. So I'll probably have to make the same exact decision. When the ribs reach 165, I'm gonna wrap and sauce. I'm sorry, sauce and wrap. And then when these reach 165, which will probably be quicker than the ribs, I will sauce and wrap. And that's it, all right? So let's go out to the smoker. Let's talk about something really quick. Uh, a lot of you don't know about pellet smokers. A lot of you use chunks of wood or, you know, big, big pieces of wood or charcoal or whatever, or gas, I don't know. But wood pellet smokers are these tiny little pellets it's like sawdust that's pressed together. And this not only burns in the wood pellet, creating the heat for your smoker to cook your food, but there's flavor in here. So these pellets are fruit flavored. So this is probably a mixture of cherry and apple and maybe some maple, I don't know. I have to check the bag for the breakdown, but these are fruity flavors. So I'm gonna be doing, pork is great with fruit, apple especially, okay? All right, now let's go out to the smoker. Uh, the one I'm using today is the Camp Chef. I'm a big fan of the Camp Chef because it has a spout you can pull, the ashes come out. It has another spout you can pull and the pellets come out. I mean, the design, why do I like my Woodwind Camp Chef is because it has all the features I've ever wanted and there's plenty of room to cook on it. So let's go outside and get our smoker loaded. Okay guys, I do envy the smokers at Camp Chef who have rigged their little wooden shelves in front of the smoker. So I have to use a TV tray because I don't have the skills to put on a wooden shelf. I hope uh, Camp Chef, I haven't checked their website yet, but I hope they come out with a shelf if they don't have one already. If they do, I'm gonna be getting my hands on one. But, uh, but yeah, so here we go. Here's all my meat. Let's get it on right now. As you can see, this will be the last cook and then I'm gonna take that foil that's been dripped on and I'm gonna redo my drip tray down there because you can see it's all gunky. It's ready to be thrown out, so. And my lovely wife rigged the probes for me. So the probes already in there, wanna go into the ribs, wanna go into the, the little cutlet pieces and uh, we will get ready to cook this up. Okay, I've confirmed I want the 
smoke at 250. Right now the probes are probe number three and four she is plugged in, see? Three and four. Probe number three is my my cup that's up here. And then probe number four goes to my ribs. I put the, the probe in the thickest part of the ribs. Don't go all the way through the ribs. Go about halfway in. Make sure you're not hitting a bone, okay? So the smoke starts coming out of the smoke stack first, but you'll see it billowing out of every every crack and crevice. But I always look for that first smoke. I don't leave until I see it. Then I realize that the pellets are working. This shows me my pellets are uh, pretty full. And if you're having beer or a soda, you can pop the bottle open right there. And then sit back and wait for the smoke. Okay guys, that's basically what you're waiting for right there. We know the pellets are burning. We know the smoke's smoking like crazy. It's trying to get the temperature right now. That's why it's burning a lot of pellets so it can get up to 250 degrees. We're gonna take our time, smoke them ribs, smoke those cutlets, and we'll be back out here to wrap and sauce, or excuse me, I keep saying it backwards. We're gonna be out here to sauce and wrap any moment. Okay, I don't care if you're in the kitchen or you're at the barbecue. Preparation is everything. So I've got my paper already cut so I can wrap. I got three layers of paper. One's for the cutlets and two's for the ribs. So we should uh, be fun and dandy uh, to go with it. So let's see what happens uh, once everything's ready. We we'll, should have no problem because we're prepared. Preparation is everything, man. I'm telling you. Everything goes smooth if you're prepared. So I got my clamps, I got my hot, my hot mitt there, so I'm ready to go. Okay guys, let's go to the Camp Chef app and take a look and see how it's doing. So probe three is in the cutlets, the little boneless cutlets. I knew they would cook faster than the ribs. They're almost about ready to be wrapped in uh, applied sauce first. And then, uh, the ribs are doing just fine. So everything's going good. Okay, so the pork cutlets just reached 165. It's time to sauce them up, wrap them in the paper, and put them back up on the rack. Ribs are around 150 right now, so they're not ready. Oh, well, those bones are looking good though, huh? Okay, there you go. They're all sauced and wrapped, and ribs will be doing next. All right, everything's been sauced and wrapped. Now let's finish cooking them and close it up. Got a little bit of sauce left but i poured it on pretty heavy so should be good all right guys normally you don't see me pulling all this stuff out you see it all nice and laid out and everything i'm going to show you there's so much juice in the ribs right now that it's just it's just soaking right through the paper that smells so good we'll look at the pork cutlets in a minute i'm gonna put them off to the side the meat's basically resting right now okay so i'm gonna let it rest for about 15 minutes, I'll give you a quick little peek. You ready? Here's a quick little peek. Look at that. Does that look amazing? We're going to cover it back up and let the meat rest for about 10 minutes. I'll be right back. Cut one. Cut two. Cut three. All right, guys. Oh man, these ribs look amazing. Let me pick one up for you, okay? Okay guys, let's show you up close how beautiful, whoops, the meat's just falling off the bone. Look how beautiful that came, Isn't that gorgeous? Let me show you somewhere else over here. Look at this, the bones just, meat's just falling off the bone. See the smoke ring at the bottom there? That's just gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna cut one of these cutlets. I got a cutlet right there. We're gonna cut it in half, okay? Show you how that came out. Perfectly cooked, nice and tender. Got sauce on it. Tammy's gonna love that. Okay, I'm gonna try this, this uh, pork chop cutlet first because I know it's not gonna be as good as the ribs because 
Ribs are awesome, and they're mine. Tammy ain't touching any of the ribs. So uh, this is tonight's dinner, so let's give it a try. See how it came out. You guys ready now? For my rib, ready? It's just a bone. Here's all the meat. Just fell off the bone, sorry. Here we go. There's emotions that I can't express on my show because the family program, but that is amazing. That's a home run recipe. It's a lazy man recipe. It can be done in no time. Super easy. I feel like those ribs just came out of restaurant. Exactly. They are definitely five star ribs. I love you guys. It's been fun. Have fun barbecuing this summer. Take care. Bye-bye.